Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Today I have another really fun um, project made for the Frilly and Funky Challenge blog, which is sponsored by the Funky Junkie Boutique. And once again, I've used Eileen Hull's incredible heartfelt journal die to create a little fall themed journal. And I used um, Prima Papers Ember Moon collection to make this. I used all the different sizes of the paper. You can get Ember Moon in a bundle pack from Frilly and Funky at a really great discount. So I got everything, stickers, chipboards, everything, stamps. And this is just a gorgeous collection for fall. And I don't know about you, but fall is when my family loves to bring out the pumpkin recipes. And I have them kind of scattered here and there. And I thought, how fun would it be to create a pumpkin recipe book using the heartfelt journal die? So that's exactly what I've done. The covers, of course, are cut from chipboard and then inked around the edges and then layered up with these gorgeous papers <clears throat> from Prima. And I've used the Prima flowers. I got all the flowers, this beautiful little um, berry cluster. And these are actually mustard seeds from my spice cabinet. They work really well as art stones, which is kind of fun. So here's the cover. On the spine, I added a selection of pretty little silver tone charms. There's a butterfly because there are butterflies all in the collection and leaves. A key. These are all from Funky Junkie Boutique. And then this is just a piece that I had in my stash to pick up on the blues that are in the collection. And there's the back, all inked and distressed. It has a ribbon closure. And this is antique gold um, faux burlap ribbon that I got from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And then you open up the inside. And here are the signatures. This has three signatures or inserts, whichever you want to call it. Um, the front cover, I've done a really fun little waterfall treatment using the 3x4 um, note cards that you can purchase. And to do this, I just added a little hinge on each card, and then you can flip through. You can add photos, you can add recipes, you can take pictures of your favorite dishes, pictures of your family Thanksgiving gathering, family reunion, anything related to fall. But this collection is just Stunning. I absolutely love it. So here's the cover of the first insert and I did the inserts a little bit differently this time You'll see in a minute, but again, I've just layered up images stickers These fun little tabs that the journal die also cuts a little layered bird done with paper and then hooked this on with a paper clip so The insert opens like this. Here's the inside cover with a little removable tag and I put a little belly band on the tag. And I'll just show you the tag for a minute so I can, you know how every once in a while you have a light bulb moment? I had one of these. At the top of each of these pages, and I'll show you paper collection, there's the center part for it to hang. I left that there, because I thought, how cool is that for making a tag? So I just backed it with craft cardstock, used my um, craft knife to cut the center out and then dressed it up with a little belly band, some little papers, cropped the corners with my cropper hopper, and then here are some of the little images from the 6x6 pad and they just tuck in here like this. And then to make this um, paper clip embellishment I just threaded ribbon. This is um, random falling leaves from Really Reasonable Ribbon and I added another one of the little Prima flowers and then this of course clips right here. And then I have the signatures opening like this this time, just for something different. And I made a little pocket here that I decorated up. This is one of the Tim Holtz Ideology Arrows. Um, this is the washi tape. Again, almost everything in here you can get at um, the Funky Junkie Boutique. So I rounded the corners on one of the 3x4 cards. And this is a great place to put photos or to write down a memory. Then I made it a really simple tag. This paper is so beautiful, I didn't want to cover it up. This little crown charm, also from Funky Junkie Boutique. And then I just matted one of the sentiments on cardstock. And this just slips into this pocket, like this. 
<clears throat> and then we'll turn the page. Then you see how this opens out like this. Here I made a side pocket and I tucked in some folded recipe cards because my thought here was a great place to collect recipes. Here's another one of the three by four journal cards. I'm sorry, this is a four by six, but this would be a wonderful place to write down a recipe. And another little recipe card. And these all just tuck into this little side pocket. I love making these journals because there's lots of fun places to tuck things in and hide things. Also, I didn't bind it this time with elastic. I wanted something more rustic, so I used this really heavy duty hemp. And um, I'm thinking this will work really well. And then I just um, sewed this um, cream text paper, and this is acid free, and I folded it so it can fold out lots of room to add recipes, photos, notes. Every year when I plan Thanksgiving, I do my mat, what I call my master plan, where I write down what has to be done at what time. Another little tuck spot here made with one of the stickers and then some little ephemera cards I had in my stash clipped on here with a little binder clip. So that's that signature. And here's the back side, the same clip holding more little ephemera pieces. Then here's the second signature. Actually, I only did two signatures because I had a hard time closing it, but I'll show you what I did with the third. So just decorated this up and this one opens like this. So on this page, I die cut one of Tammy Tuttero's paper bag envelopes and dressed it up. And this is her little um, window mini envelope. And I turned it into a little shaker element by adding sequins and a stamped image surrounding it with pretty stickers and um, elements. I did this just by putting an acetate piece in the window. So that's kind of fun. And then inside the paper bag, pocket. I've got these. These are the inserts that the die cuts and I thought this is another great place to put photos. These tabs I die cut with Tammy's tabs die and then these just stick right in here and this little paper clip holds them staggered like this and these little puffy stickers are from the collection. They're really cute and then this opens again and here's another little tag and I thought these would be fun just to have on hand for hostess gifts. Of course, behind here you can write a recipe. Here's a little tuck spot over here. More recipe cards clipped here. And then again, more pages for adding recipes, for planning your parties, for pictures, whatever. And then more recipe cards just tucked in like this. So that's the second insert. And then instead of doing another signature, well, I did create a third signature, but I created a pocket on the back to hold it um, because otherwise I couldn't close the book. So here's the third signature. And again, one of these fun little turn tabs. I just wove some hemp string together, added a little title. These little face plates also are cut with the heartfelt journal die. And then this just opens out like this, just a pretty spot to write things down. A little pocket, little tags, and again, more of these signature pages. So it's a very fun project. I made this in about a day and a half total, and that's from <clears throat> planning the idea and thinking it all through to completion. Um, I, I love fall. I love fall colors. I love fall images. So this was really fun for me to make. I hope I've inspired you to get your craft on and make some fun fall projects yourself. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you later.